Hi, my name is Jesse Yu. I also go by JRU. I'm an artist based out of Los Angeles, California. We're at DesignerCon. It's an annual um, convention that's based around independent artists' work. So you'll find uh, like a lot of collectible toys, resin castings, posters, prints, um, handmade plush, just a litany of different collectibles uh, by independent artists mostly. It's not licensed stuff like you see from Marvel or DC or anime. It's all artists that create their own things like products and bring it to this uh, convention to sell and to promote. I've been coming to Designer Con for about nine years and I remember when it was still called Vinyl Toy Network. It was a bunch, a bunch of people that was just they were just bringing their collections and trading amongst themselves and it turned into this con where there's three or four hundred vendors now and they're moving to Anaheim next year so it's a really good indication of the interest and the strength of the industry right now. Um, it's really cool to see the, the growth of it from me being a collector and coming here to see what types of new products to just you know seeing the litany of offerings that people have especially this year because it's the biggest I've ever seen it. Today I've got a bunch of uh, artist proofs from the recent series I had with Kid Robot called Arcane Divination. I did an 8-inch Dunny, their flagship mascot, um, in which I did this one called the Clairvoyant. And so I have a bunch of Clairvoyant customs, some artist proofs. I've got some 3-inch offerings from the Arcane Divination line, some pins, uh, a print, and then some special castings of one of the three inch designs, which is the crystal ball. So I have some of those here as well. This year's been great, except for I've literally been at the booth less than one hour total. Today is Saturday, but I had two panels, uh, a couple of signings. And um, so right now is actually the first time I've been back in the booth for more than 15 minutes. I got started in this particular uh, industry because I was a collector and I was working in the design field. And I always felt that being a designer was creative, but a little bit constraining because I was always doing work for hire for other clients. And so uh, in an effort to pursue my own creative interests, I started sculpting and designing my own collectibles. And it led me to this point where I work with companies like Kid Robots and showing galleries um, that want to exhibit my style of art, which is Baroque and Gothic work. My inspiration comes from, from storytelling. I'm a big fan of uh, work that I can see some sort of narrative thread going on uh, as well as emotive things. I'm not, I'm not particularly good at just creating things that aesthetically are just strictly cool to look at. I always want to instill a, a sense of narrative and story into my work. So my biggest inspirations are, are people like Tim Burton, Miyazaki, um, Disney, anyone that's uh, Stan Lee, you know, storytellers. And I just happen to use sculpture and collectible art as my, my means to tell my stories. Well, the Clairvoyant has a dual purpose. One, it serves as the centerpiece for the Arcane Divination series, which is based around the world of tarot. And because the 3-inch and 8-inch um, obviously have different sizes, we wanted to make the 8-inch kind of a centerpiece, and we used that opportunity to turn it into a fortune teller. And so it serves as the central point um, being the fortune teller that kind of shepherds all of the other disparate designs of the tarot cards into one cohesive uh, narrative. My biggest piece of advice to people that are artists is to first differentiate crafting and art. Like, you know, um, I go to a lot of comic cons and things like that. You see a lot of fan art and it's based around existent IPs like Deadpool or One Piece or Dragon Ball uh, or they're doing perler beads. and. There is a difference between crafting and art because one is just execution. Like if you draw well, then you can draw Goku or you can draw Deadpool. That's different than being an artist that comes up with their own unique sensibility, whether it's through style or the subject matter that they, they uh, deal with. So if you're currently very adept technically at what you do, uh, Try to explore things that don't use the crutch of existent like licenses and IPs to help pursue, you know, further your career because it's not necessarily going to work. You'll you'll be relegated to a fan, you know, artist alley, and you'll just be focusing on selling, 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 be, because someone else has established the the story of Deadpool or the story of Luffy in One Piece, but it's not your work. 
And it's not a legality thing. It's that it's holding you back from exploring the ideas that you have inside that you can introduce to the world to stand alongside Luffy or to stand alongside a Spider-Man or an Iron Man. And I feel like uh, that that type of courage or, or security that you can bring to yourself to bring that work to the public is very important. And don't be afraid because my personal motto is I'm not for everyone. Don't Some, some people are not going to like your work. A lot of people don't like my work. They hate my work. But it's not going to stop me from doing it because I'm trying to be true to the things that I like myself. And in doing so, it might give you some strength to go out there and and add to the fabric, not just regurgitate. I'm currently working on... So, so today I had a panel with Kid Robot and we unveiled that we're working on Arcane Divination Part 2. It's called The Lost Cards. So we're going to be adding 14 new designs to the existent first series. And there's going to be a bunch of products that are coming out with it, including two new 8-inch designs, two 5-inch designs, and we added a new artist, Dr. A, to our series. So it should be... If you like the first series, you'll really like, I hope you'll like the second series. Um, in addition to those projects, I'm doing a bunch of conventions next year, including uh, Manila Comic Con, I'm doing uh, Kauai Con in Hawaii, I'm doing Middle East Film and Comic Convention in Dubai. So uh, still pursuing a lot of travel where we conduct panels and talk about the business of art. And, and if you guys can stop by, that'd be great. Uh, if you're on social media, I usually go by J-Ru Art. that's J-R-Y-U-A-R-T. That's on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as Twitch. And hopefully I'll start creative streaming on Twitch soon, as soon as I figure out a way to sculpt and, and you know, have the camera in focus and everything at the same time. But yeah, definitely check me out. And if you have any questions or want advice or you just want to chop it up, feel free to hit me up on social media anytime. Thank you very much. Thanks.